Well, the ridge finally shift offshore, Kevin. This is not a position of this ridge south of Bermuda we've seen all too often. This winter season, we saw it push a little bit further west. Yeah, when it pushed further towards the Atlantic coast, that was a snowball effect, pushing our storm origins back towards the Gulf. And that is uh, allowing our storm track to progress a little further inland along the Atlantic coast. And these water temperatures running a fever, it's allowed those marginal rain snow situations across eastern Canada to tip towards the rain variety. So that's the Gulf Stream really juiced up this winter season. But the anomalies back in December were pretty darn impressive for British Columbia and Alberta. This is the two weeks of cold, really the two harshest weeks all winter long, those temperatures into the minus 40s and 50s, but it failed to push into eastern Canada. It developed a big bad blizzard, but then January, the entire continent pretty much was flooded by Pacific air and that return flow from that high pressure system. Yeah, the last ingredient is that Greenland blocking. This plays a big role in how much cold air gets stuck over central Canada, and that's one of the fueling mechanisms for these Atlantic coastal storms. So we did have that blocking, but it was a little further south. That pushed our storm track further towards the Great Lakes. And out ahead of those storms, we had a lot more warm air and quieter conditions heading into the Maritimes.